Okay. Okay, Boom fans. Back again with another uh, ball review with the Radical uh, Sneak Attack. It's a symmetrical pearl. Uh, I chose this ball to put my short pin layout on it. It is uh, 90 by 2 and a quarter by 45. Uh, it's an old Mo Pinnell. To my knowledge, I believe it's a Mo Pinnell layout. They call it a controlled layout. For those of you that don't know what a short pin layout is, a short pin layout is a short distance between your PAP and the pin location. And in this case, it's two and a quarter away from the uh, PAP, uh, which gets the flare growing early. And then the ball's all flared out and rolls nice and controlled on the back end. And I use this on stuff... Uh, for a I always choose a symmetrical pearl. I know you can do it some other things. It's just what I do. It's worked out well for me in the past. Um, <clears throat> I pick balls usually with a little bit higher RG, uh, not necessarily a super high differential. That way it doesn't flare out too fast. Um, but it's usually what I try to find, and I usually like to have that in my bag, especially when I'm going to tournaments and the pattern gets burnt up real bad and they're hooking like crazy. I can go to a ball with this type of layout, uh, with these type of specs on it, and I can control a little bit better uh, the ball over hooking on the back end and going through the face shot after shot. So uh, I'm really excited about showing this ball. This ball is uh, on the lower end price-wise, and you get a whole lot of ball for the, for the price you're paying. Uh, this ball is really good. So you're going to get to see in the video. Uh, it's reaction. I used it last. I bowled several games uh, with some other equipment previous to making this video. Uh, so the uh, video I made with this ball is after the lanes opened up a little bit and the ball still stays under control. So you'll get a chance to see. All right, let's check it out. Okay, here we go. I'm at my home center house pattern here. Like I said, I had a few games on it uh, beforehand. And I mentioned earlier about uh, balls with these specs. I'm going to go over the specs uh, on this ball. So uh, the colors are black and black pearl. Uh, the core is a sneak attack symmetric core cover stock MTH1. Uh, and I apologize, it is not a symmetrical pearl, it is a hybrid cover so that's where it says black and black pearl sure looks uh, pearl whenever you're looking at it but I apologize about that so it's a hybrid reactive uh, the finish that comes on that is uh, 500 the steps are 500 1000 2000 Sire uh, and then uh, crown factory polish uh, the RG on that is 2.54 2.54 is a little high uh, it will get through the fronts pretty good if you drill it with a normal layout you're definitely gonna see a lot of length out of this ball this layout here will get it rolling a little bit overall more smooth and even as you can see in the video. Uh, the differential is .036, it's fairly on the low side. This ball fits perfectly for me and my game uh, to put the short pin uh, layout on it. So uh, yeah, just talk about some of the reactions you see here in the video. You just get the ball off your hand with plenty of friction, it never overreacts and still goes through the pins nicely on the back end. Uh, down on these end pairs that I'm bowling on, down lane, they don't really hook a lot, uh, but with uh, with this ball, it's still able to do that. But Now, yeah. a little flat 10 there. Didn't really let go over really good. Like anything else out there, if you don't throw it good, you can't expect strikes, so. Uh, but the idea is that um, choosing this ball and drilling it normal, you're still going to get length out of it. It's still going to be good on uh, drier lanes, lanes with a lot more friction. If you want the length out of it, you know, you put normal layout up four, 45 by 4 by 45 or whatever it is you're going to put on there. Um, but I, like I said, I chose to make sure to have a ball with a short pin layout, and I chose this one to do it with. So I definitely take this with me anywhere that I expect the potential for the lanes to blow up and I need something to control. You can see the ball just, it just stays under control the whole time. Um, you know, you're going to get a different motion out of it with the other layouts. 
you're going to see more length in it, more uh, angular down lane. But for a lower end ball, uh, it's this cover's still got a lot of teeth to it. Another flat ten. I don't know what it is. I go out here um, and and do these videos sometimes directly after work, and uh, it's not like my job's hard or anything. But for whatever reason, I'm kind of wore out a little bit. I'm not really throwing quality shots, but I also use that time to try to get just some reps in. Uh, I think the more times you, you bowl, the more times you practice going through the motions. As long as you're not doing super bad things, it's it's good for your game. That ball there was let go of good. It went through the pins nice. This ball is available. You can check with your uh, local pro shops and ask about it. I definitely think you're going to be uh, very pleased with this ball. I think if you're the type of player that's high speed, speed dominant, and you're bowling on stuff with not a lot of friction, this is definitely not the route to go. That ball really stuffed and went through there. This ball wouldn't be the way to go for you then, but if you're a high rev player or you run into a lot of uh, friction at the places that you bowl, or if you're just wanting something similar to what I talked about, if you're wanting something so you can take two uh, tournaments with you to be prepared for whenever they really get opened up and you're uh, you know, struggling with too much friction, you have this ball ready to go and it's a, it's a really good option to have in your bag for sure. I was just, I was just truly impressed with this ball though. It's just, you look at this ball and you think, uh, you know, well, maybe it's not that strong of a ball or whatever. And it's not. I mean, it does need friction, but, man, it's a good ball. It really goes through the pins good. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. i got some more videos coming out. i got the Track Kinetic uh, Black Ice coming out. I'll be working on that video here shortly. Uh, definitely more videos coming soon, and, and I appreciate you guys. Uh, watching my videos and all the compliments I get uh, saying that I helped you or whatever. Uh, always, definitely I'm trying to pay attention to questions, comments, and respond to them. If you have questions about the equipment, please let me know. Alright, boom out. Okay, there you have it. Talked about the Radical Sneak Attack, the Hybrid Symmetrical Super Ball. Uh, that hybrid cover actually it makes sense now how smooth it is. Um, it, like I said before, you put a normal layout, 45 by 4 by 45 or whatever it is you normally put on it, you're definitely going to see a lot more length and more angle than you've seen in this video. Uh, or maybe you choose to do the same thing I did and put the short pin layout on this. And uh, personally, I'm super glad I did. That's going to work out great for me. I, I was hoping it would. I punched it up and went through it. And I was super excited to see I got exactly what I want out of it, wanted out of it. So, um, once again, thanks to John Abity and the Bowlers Pro Shop in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And uh, all your other pro shops out there. I know you guys uh, do great work and work hard. And uh, for everybody watching this video, support uh, your local pro shops. Uh, like and subscribe the video. Comment, ask questions, whatever it is you want to do. And I'll see you then on the next one. Alright, have a good one.